Hey guys, this is Redhead Goes Healthy, and welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I've uploaded. I had a really, really uh, very high expectations for myself, high ambitions for this YouTube channel, and I thought that I could upload three videos a week, and then work started, and I was like, I can't do that. I just can't, I don't have the energy for it. It's not that I don't have the time, it's more like I don't have the emotional energy for it. I, uh, it doesn't mean, this is I guess good news, it doesn't mean that I haven't given up on my health and fitness journey. I have been sticking to working out on a regular basis. I've been doing my best to do intermittent fasting and ca uh, track my calories basically. Um, what I'd like to do is to keep uploading updates for you guys, but with very minimal editing. I know that there's a lot of you out there that upload videos like this, and I really appreciate that. And so I just wanted to try and do the same thing. So what I'm going to do is try to upload once a week. What I'm attempting to do for the next six weeks is a, basically a more focused, sustained challenge for myself. It's gonna be a running challenge. It's gonna be a whole foods challenge, no processed sugar challenge sort of thing. Just basically a more focused health challenge. I have been very successful for the last four months, ever since I did my keto reset. Um, if I have time, I'll link that up above, uh, where I lost about 12 pounds on that. I've been really successful at maintaining that weight loss. And I think that that sort of changed the way that I think about my own personal health and fitness, because I think I'm, I'm happy that I've been able to maintain it without doing anything strict, without, you know, doing anything that I would consider to be depriving myself of foods that I want to enjoy and eat. But I'm ready to start losing weight again. I'm ready to get back into the 170s comfortably. If you've been following me for, you know, the last, like, I guess two and a half years since I've had this YouTube, this YouTube channel. See, I'm not even going to edit that, right? This is what you're going to get. For the last two and a half years, I have been, um, you know, on this up and down journey and, and during the pandemic gained weight and a lot of mental health issues and stuff like that. So my starting weight when I, when I started this channel, I believe was like 177. So I'm still, I'm almost back into that starting point, I guess. Um, I want to be clear though that, you know, the highest weight that I got to these last two and a half years was about 195. So I'm counting, you know, where I'm at right now as a success, just because I think this is just a part of life, at least for me. It's not going to be, you know, I, I lose a ton of weight all of a sudden, have this transformation, and then I keep it off for the rest of my life. I think my story is a little different and I'm okay with that. I, I'm, I'm actually okay with that. So my plan is to be focused a, a bit more in terms of just like really being strict with my tracking and my calorie counting. And I'd like to try to hit a deficit of 500 to 800 calories a day and um, more non-scale stuff related. I got this Peloton tread, uh, I guess it's been about two months since I've had it. And I've consistently used it. I have consistently used it, I'd say at least uh, three to four times a week. My running pace uh, began at about a, I'll be honest here, about a 16 minute mile. Um, and then I, you know, when I was uploading some times on YouTube, I guess that was a while ago, I was, I was gradually improving that time. Uh, before the Thanksgiving break, I actually hit, I think my average was like a 13 minute mile and I did a 5k all on my own. So super proud of myself. What I want to do is work my way up to a 10k. Uh, which I believe is a 6.2, 6.1 miles. Um, I, I, I would like to work my, myself back up to that and, and not really worry about the pace. My goal is just to jog consistently or jog without stopping, I should say, uh, for basically 6.1 miles or however long a 10K is. And I think I can do it. I, I've been consistently doing three miles on the weekends. And during the week, I'll try to do faster times, uh, but shorter distance just to kind of condition myself. I'm also really um, concerned. I'm watching my heart rate as I'm doing it. And I'm trying my best not to push it too hard. There was a day, I uh, this was probably about four weeks ago, where I 
saw a time that I was really close to. So for me, that was like a 12 minute mile was just like, oh my gosh, I haven't seen that number in so long. Like, go for it, go for it. And I was in a lot of pain for the rest of that day because I just think I pushed myself way too hard. Uh, so I don't want to do that. Uh, in terms of, like I said, eating, I'm going to stick to whole foods, no processed sugar for the next six weeks. I will have a starting weight on Monday and I will uh, update you guys every week, but I will not be weighing in every week. So I will weigh in at the beginning and I will weigh in at the end. And that is just for me, psychologically, that's just where I'm at. And uh, the videos are going to be like this. I'm just going to kind of freeform it stream of consciousness. There's going to be no real editing. So um, if this is your thing, join me. Uh, this will start Monday and, and do your own uh, plan if you have one. But uh, this is about a six week challenge. So if you want to join, um, feel free to join along. That's all I got for today, guys. I hope to see you again next week.